Hi, welcome to Just Trading. In this video, our team give you an analysis with the information we got after the closing day of March 14, 2023. Our objective is to give you suggestions to trade with less risk and higher capital return. Remember to stop the video at any time, if you want to look at it carefully. Here, we show you an example of the stock's timestamp that you can find on the video's comments. You can click on the timestamp and go to the stock's details. SP500 ETF belongs to the Bear Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Dow Jones Industrial ETF belongs to the Bear Low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. NASDAQ 100 ETF belongs to the Bear High class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Corporate Bond ETF is a mild buy suggestion. It is on a trade normal class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average buy return of 0.1%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $107.09, but we expect a possible buy price of $105.32. In addition, we suggest to stop buying corporate bond ETF, if it is below 0.50% of your stock price trade. Let's look at the market sectors table. There is a strong opportunity to buy financial sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 4.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $34.56. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell communication sector EDF. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $52.98. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.18. Energy sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of energy sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Halliburton Company. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 6.2%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $35.86. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.01. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. AELG Resources was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that AELG Resources is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.6%. You may expect now a buy return of 1.1%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $110.41, but we expect a possible sell price of $110.59. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $109.17, unless it's undervalued. Financial sector ETF belongs to the bear low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of financial sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Real estate sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of real estate sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Simon Property Group. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $113.72. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.24. On the other hand, 
there is a strong opportunity to sell American Tower. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.5%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $199.51. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $2.03. Healthcare sector ETF belongs to the bare low class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of healthcare sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Pfizer Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.8%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $40.73. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.07. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Eli Lilly and Company. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 2.1%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $321.18. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.55. This is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, Abbuy Incorporated has a sell put strike price at $151, and a buy put strike price at $153. For this spread option, it will expire on March 17, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.59. Gilead Sciences was a previous suggested butterfly option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Industrial sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of industrial sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Caterpillar Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 7.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $236.5. For a vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.07. On the other hand, there is a strong opportunity to sell General Electric. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 5.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $88.69. For a vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.14. Emerson Electric was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Emerson Electric is a trade high class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of minus 0.3%. You may expect now a buy return of 2.2%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $84.88, but we expect a possible sell price of $86.39. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $83.06, unless is undervalued. General Electric was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that General Electric is a bull high class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 5.3%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $86.34. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $91.16, unless is overvalued. United Parcel Service was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that United Parcel Service is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.4%. You may expect now a buy return of 0.3%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $185.59 but we expect a possible sell price of $185.77. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $181.43, unless is undervalued. Material sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, 
our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of material sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy DuPont Dinamores. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 0.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $71.31. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.23. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Ecolab Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $158.08. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.81. Ecolab Incorporated is a mild sell suggestion. It is on a trade low class. In the past, our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $158.08, but we expect a possible sell price of $161. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Ecolab Incorporated if it is over 4.80% of your stock price trade. Discretionary sector ETF belongs to the bear normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stock's table of discretionary sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy the Home Depot. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 1.7%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $297.12. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.06. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Tesla Incorporated. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 12.7%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $182.18. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.15. The Home Depot was a previous suggested vertical call option. The buy call strike price was bought at $297.5, and the sell call strike price was sold at $300. We are holding it, unless we decide to sell it before the expiration date on March 17, 2023. Consumer Staples ETF belongs to the Bear Normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of staples sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy CVS Health Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 3.9%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $81.17. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0. On the other hand, there is a weak opportunity to sell Costco wholesale. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.4%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $477.18. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.72. Costco wholesale is a weak sell suggestion. It is on a bare normal class. In the past. Our analysis shows you that it has given an average sell return of 1.1%. You may expect now a sell return of 1.4%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $477.18, but we expect a possible sell price of $486.25. In addition, we suggest to stop selling Costco wholesale if it is over 1.40% of your stock price trade. Kraft Heinz Company was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Kraft Heinz Company is a bear low class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 0.7%. You may expect now a buy return of 3.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $39.62.
on the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $37.89, unless it's undervalued. Walmart Corporation was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Walmart Corporation is a bare normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of half a percent. You may expect now a buy return of 0.9%. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $139.32 but we expect a possible sell price of $139.8. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $135.89, unless it's undervalued. Technology sector ETF belongs to the bear high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of technology sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Western Digital. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 5.6%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $36.93. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.04. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell Microsoft Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 6.6%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $258.71. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $1.94. Activision Blizzard was a previous top buy alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it long. You can observe that Activision Blizzard is a trade normal class. In the past, it has given an average buy return of 1.1%. You may expect now a buy return of half a percent. We suggest to sell it at a minimum price of $79.51, but we expect a possible sell price of $81.62. On the other hand, we suggest to stop buying if the price is $76.32, unless it's undervalued. This is a new buy suggested vertical put option. On the table, Alphabet Incorporated has a sell put strike price at $92, and a buy put strike price at $94. For this spread option, it will expire on March 17, 2023, and the estimated price is at $0.68. Texas Instruments was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Communication sector ETF belongs to the bare normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of communication sector. There is a strong opportunity to buy Comcast Corporation. You can observe, it has an expected buy return of 2.5%. You may buy it at a maximum price of $35.78. For vertical call option, an estimated price is at $0.17. On the other hand, there is a mild opportunity to sell T-Mobile US. You can observe, it has an expected sell return of 1.3%. You may sell it at a minimum price of $142.33. For vertical put option, an estimated price is at $0.72. T-Mobile US was a previous suggested butterfly option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Utility sector ETF belongs to the trade high class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. Let's look at the stocks table of utility sector. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Duke Energy was a previous suggested iron condor option. Today, we suggest to sell it. Bitcoin belongs to the bull normal class. Today, our analysis does not list it as a suggestion to buy or sell. 
Let's look at the cryptocurrencies table. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to buy. Our analysis does not list the top opportunity to sell. Binance Coin was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Binance Coin is a bull low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.4%. You may expect now a sell return of 2.2%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $305. But we expect a possible buy price of $282.27. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $316.57, unless it's overvalued. Cosmos was a previous top sell alternative. Today, our analysis is suggesting to continue holding it short. You can observe that Cosmos is a trade low class. In the past, it has given an average sell return of 0.7%. You may expect now a sell return of 13.8%. We suggest to buy it at a maximum price of $11.51. On the other hand, we suggest to stop selling if the price is $13.35, unless it's overvalued. Theta token was a previous suggested short cryptocurrency. Today, we suggest to buy it. This ends the analysis of our team that gives you a good start on your trading day. Please, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Share it and leave it a like if you find it useful. Thanks for following us. We hope to see you on our next Just Trading video. Bye.